Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, here we are back with the Sky Pirate on a beautiful Friday night. Also, I'm everybody's favorite uncle, Uncle Buddy. And I got a couple things to talk to you about. I did get some more drone video today. I went out to the bridge and seen how f close we're getting to finishing up. It's looking really, really nice. Got some beautiful sunset pictures. But anyway, I would like to welcome you all that if you have any questions, this is up there, right, there, right there, this little area, if you have any questions or you got something you want me to drone, you want to talk about something, you need something looked into, whatever, just you can email me at skypiratekansas at gmail.com, skypiratekansas at gmail.com, right there. Just write that down, that's how you get a hold of me. Of course, you all know my name is everybody's favorite Uncle Uncle Buddy, but you can just call me Buddy. And let's see, I got a couple things I want to cover tonight, and I'm going to start with the serious one, get it out of the way, and that's, I've been seeing a lot of fighting and arguing and crap going back and forth about this hazing at the high school, which I know nothing about it, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on it, but I will tell you all this, hazing... It started a long time ago, like the beginning of time. Dinosaurs hazed each other, and I mean, you know, what about when the when the freaking Knights of the Round Table used to drop hot coals in each other's steel armor? You know, this stuff's been going on, and it's going to continue to go on. You need to talk to your kids. That's the, that's the best advice I'm going to give. Is talk to your kids and make your kids. You need to be a safe place for them to go tell you stuff. I mean, a lot of times, and I've seen this, and and I, I ain't giving names, but a lot of times a kid can go to their one of their parents and say, hey, I got in a fight at school today, and the parent gets all bent out of shape and yells and screams at the kid. So the next time a kid gets picked on, start, gets in a fight or whatever, they're scared to tell their parents. Well, you know... The best advice I can give anybody is always be a safe place for your kid to go. Don't get mad at him. You know, my dad, I was always able, even though he, he could be a butthole, I, I, I could go to him and I got caught hiding in a closet at a beer party in high school once. Hell, I went straight home and told him. He went the next day, got my license back, and I never really got in a lot of trouble. I got a little lecture about drinking, but that was it. But anyway... So, with that being said, talk to your kids. That's the best way. You want to stop hazing? Be a family. Talk to each other. Stop them from doing stuff. You know if your kid's a little butthole. We all do. Or being a butthole. If you got two or three parents calling you saying, your kid's bullying my kid, well, expect your kid to get knocked on his ass when he comes across a few of these other kids around here. That's all I'm going to say. And... I also would like to join Jeff Bowman, the new CEO out at the hospital that's getting some stuff done, and thanking the, our Kansas City Industries Incorporated for a $50,000 donation to the War Ender Trust Physicians Recruiting Fund. That is awesome. They're trying to get an urgent care clinic started around here, which should be cheaper than going to the ER. Um, we do have a few clinics here already, though. But, hey, urgent care is urgent care. What can you say? And what else do we got going on? Burger Junkie. Anybody want to buy the Burger Junkie? It's only $134,999. Well, I'd buy it if I could afford it. But, nope. I'm just, I'm just little old me. Can't do much. Don't want to do much. But... I guarantee God dang he of them hamburgers would be good. His are good. Mine will be good. I, I, that's all I'm saying. Somebody buy the burger junkie because I'd hate to see that thing disappear. And... Oh, this is cool. I've heard about fish eating the dead skin off of your feet. But I've never seen it before. Well... Through the magic of uh, Facebook, I saw my good friend Lori Jones and one of her friends, I'm sorry, I don't know the girl's name, I guess I could have looked it up, but I'm lazy. 
But they're letting fish eat the dead stuff off of their feet. And I was like, man, I'd do that, but I'd kill all them little fish. It looked like a minnow bucket five days in the hot sunlight. But anyway, here's that video. Enjoy. It's cool. It shows Lori and her friend smiling. But that's all I did is just show it. Anyway, I'm going to pause for a little bit while you're looking at it. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, I'm back. Hey, hey, hey! I went out to the to the east side of the West Madison Bridge, and I got some video up there. I got some really good sunset video. I'm gonna I won't be doing some color grading and stuff on it here in a little bit. See if I can get it to look good, cause I want it to be good. And so that'll be coming up. Be watching for that. Also. Y'all keep your eye open for Mel and me. Mel and Brandon, they're, they're, I just, I'm going to promote the show even though they ain't promoting me. Um, which is BS, but hey, it is what it is. I find value in what they're doing. And I'm, I want you all to check it out whether you like them or don't like them. It don't matter. You can talk to them. They ain't going to argue with you, but you can talk to them. Um, Showed you my, my skypiratekansas at gmail.com. Anyway, all right. If y'all want to talk about anything, you can send me whatever. You got any cool videos, pictures, things that you've taken you want to do. Send it to me. I'll, I'll put it on. I want, I want to put more content on my channel. And if I can feature some of you from Ark City... That's what I want to do. I want to feature some of you from Ark City. You got an amazing four-year-old kid that can play banjo and sing? Well, oh, I got a story to tell you about banjos. Oh, man. I bought me this banjo, and, and I was walking down. I can't remember where I was, but it was in Wichita, Kansas. And I thought, man, I got this banjo in here. I better lock my doors, and I did. And I went into the Orpheum, the Orpheum Theater and, and left the banjo in the back seat of my car. When we got done at the Orpheum, I came outside, all the windows were broke out of my damn car. And there were six more banjos in there. <laughs> all right. I'm just kidding. Anyway, hey, y'all, just send me, send me content. You got something you want to talk about. You got a talented kid. You want something droned. I mean... Let me know. I'm our city's running out of things for me to fly my little helicopter over. I'm trying though. I'm doing my best. Um, there is a town over Pitcher, Oklahoma. It's a modern day ghost town because they had a lead lead mine there. So there's still some people who live there, but pretty much it's a ghost town. I'm gonna head over there one of these one of these weekends and days and get things checked out. Um, other than that, enjoy the video I got going on. Hope to see you all real soon. If you see me in Walmart, stop and say hi. See my beautiful wife, stop and say hi. We're always happy to visit. And I know I got some fans out there. I, I've gotten a few nice emails. And and it's it's just been awesome. But give me a holler. Sure would like to hear from you. You can also comment down here. Hit that subscribe button, whichever site it's on. But I need subscribers. I start getting over a thousand subscribers and, and I can start doing great things with this channel. All right, here's just some video I got of the bridge. We're just going to be floating over the top of it and looking around a little bit. I did some color grading on the last part of this. But hey, they did, they did a nice job. Everything looks like it's coming out okay. But while we watch this, and I wanted to tell you all something I didn't tell you in the introduction earlier. There's a place in Wichita called Victory in the Valley. They help guys like me and your grandpa and whoever else, if you know anybody with cancer. This Victory in the Valley, they provide them with gas cards, groceries, um, Christmas items, all kinds of things. It's tough getting back and forth to Wichita when you gotta go three, four times a week. And I'll tell you what, 
If you ever need some place to donate to, please donate to Victory in the Valley. Y'all have a great day on that. And think about it. I, I just, I love the heck out of it. Anyway, yeah, we just got some more. Getting some of the bread just looking nice. Got the sun behind me there. That makes it look a little bit better when you do that. And then we'll get up where I color graded a few things. I suck at it. But I thought it looked pretty good. I, best I'm going to be able to do. I'm not really much of a, much of a, oh yeah, here's my flying. This is my drone. I'm a better drone pilot than I am a photographer. But I'm going to fly underneath that bridge and I'm going to get out there. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to fly back the other way. It's going to be beautiful. Ah, uh, just beautiful. There's the guys working. I try to avoid them as much as possible. Uh, you know how that is there. They're working. They don't need somebody buzzing drones around their head or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm coming back the other way. And here's just this part here is where I color graded a little bit and just kind of try to make it look a little bit prettier. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And, well, there's another shot of a color grade I did. I changed the color a little bit more on that. So anyway, well, this is Uncle Buddy. Have a great day. I'm going to send it back to the other buddy, please. Other buddy, go ahead and take over, all right? On one. Oh, share my channel. Subscribe to it. Hit that bell so you get notified. Anyway, this is Uncle Buddy. Y'all have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.